Okay, hopefully you can see me. I'm not watching. Um, so I'll just do it real quick. Nice and clean. Take my grinder. I bought this grinder. I used to have the one that y'all have. I bought this one because uh, it keeps the beans on top. You don't put beans in every day. So we can just put the beans in up here and leave them in and not have to worry about it. And then you just rotate the whole top to what you want. I think fine for the year, medium, and coarse for French press. Um, so I just put on fine, make sure that the tank is empty, and start it up. I'll get some water. So, two cups, four cups, and I usually come to the top of this room. Like I said, I use hot water from the uh, water filter. Pour it in. If you put too much water in, it'll just come to the top, just pour out the rest. You can, it's okay to get this thing all the way up there pretty much. Get that nice and tight. And this guy. I don't know if you can see, I like putting it in here to hold it while I put the coffee in. Hey, can you look at the camera and see if they're actually seeing everything I'm doing? Can you see down here? you get it in you can either hold this or hold it hold it with that I just hold it here it's fine just put that in a little twist pull it out you should look about like that nice and flat top you just throw that back in Falling over? Yeah. I need a phone tripod. Alright, that looks like it'll probably stay. Okay, so here too, you don't just brew forever. You brew to the four line and you stop it. Um, espresso cups like these are espresso style coffee cups I mean you could drink an espresso out of anything obviously um, this is just a little tiny coffee cup if you wanted to drink one or two shots of espresso by itself without anything um, these over here are just coffee cups they're not like a um, latte only coffee cup or anything they're just coffee cups they're just nice because they're insulate it and you can hold the cup when it's burning hot and not burn yourself. Well that's going. Inside of the measuring cup it's got um, ounces four, six, eight, and ten. So like I said before, I like to put four in. I like to only put in four ounces at a time. And then steam that one up and it will fill up the whole pitcher there. And then do another four ounces and it'll fill up the whole pitcher again. 
Um, and right now we can go ahead and put in brown sugar or whatever kind of sugar you want. Hey babe, mm -hmm. we're out of brown sugar over here. We have a bag. No sugar for our coffee there. So you could do just two and then make the rest milk. Um, we like our coffee stronger, so I, go, I always go to four, which makes it two shots of espresso in each cup. And you gotta remember, if you, if you don't turn this off when it hits four here, um, you'll lose most of that extra water in the back that's supposed to be for your steam. So I turn it off right there, let it drip a little bit more. I guess today we're using honey. Just take this off, throw in the sink. Makes it easier to pour. Then pour a couple in each. And straight to the sink with this one. Right now, like I was telling you before, you see the condensation build up on the edge here. When you go to do this, this condensation should go away. Like I said, I take this all the way down to where this touches the metal there. Kind of angle it until it touches the bottom and back off just a little bit. And that's about the perfect spot to start. And then just spin it around in circles in here. Keep it as close to the bottom as you can without actually touching the bottom. And just go slowly. Right now it shows to be about half froth in the pitcher. Don't mind that, that's not really froth, those are just bubbles from just blowing a little bit. So if you look at the bottom though, that's uh, the condensation's gone now. I don't know if you can see that or not. Now the condensation's gone, that means the milk is pretty much hot enough. You can start moving up slowly. So here the change. If it starts getting too airy, back off a little bit. Put a little bit of that sound. Keep going slowly around. And stop. And I don't know if you can see this, but I'm at a full picture of froth off of four ounces. Oh, another thing too, I like to stir the coffee and the sugar or whatever you're using together first before I put the milk in. Then I just drop the milk in. We like these cups just because it gives you the layering look and it's pretty and it doesn't burn or anything. But Thank you. like I said, you don't need that. You can use a regular coffee cup. It does the same thing. You don't have to rinse this froth out. I normally do. I'm being lazy right now. I normally rinse it out mostly just so I can see the... Um, the four ounce mark, because when it's frothy in there, it's really hard to see where it's at. Go ahead, babe. Thank you. And one more time. Same thing. Just keep it low to the bottom, spin it around. You want to, you're steaming the milk, right? You want to get the milk nice and really hot.
little bubbly. Just pour that in. And you can mix it too at the end here if you want. Doesn't make a huge difference. It's just I don't really do it that way because um, we're using the clear coffee cups and it looks better if not. Another thing, well this tip here, this rubber tip is all milky still. I like filling up this, crab, this uh, pitcher with about half water or so. Hot water works better. And then turn this on. And it cleans all the milk out of the inside of the pipe. And you can kind of, it'll, it'll, it's going to steam the water and heat the water up too. So it doesn't really matter if you use hot, but it'll help clean this off. Did they clean it? The wash off or something? Or a paper towel. Just put a little water on it. Thank you. Okay. Alright, when that's done, I just slide this little rubber piece off for washing. Get a paper towel or something here. Clean this off real good. Watch out, this piece, this metal piece right here is going to be super hot, so don't try, try not to touch that with your hand. Um, obviously, it was just pouring steam out of it, so. Um, and then a little bit of milk that spills on the counter here. Just wipe that up real quick. Wipe it all up. And then, so this is one of the more important things that hopefully you haven't done yet. Um, don't touch this right now. If you take this off right now, all the steam is still built up in here. I mean, you can see there's, there's still steam in there, right? That steam is going to push into the coffee as you take this off, and it's going to blow coffee everywhere, and it's going to burn your hand with steam, so... Just get a towel or something put up here and loosen this up gently, nice and slow. And you'll start hearing the steam coming out. It's just like just like a radiator cap. It's, it's super hot steam, so slowly open it. Better with like a washcloth or something to do this with, or a, or a kitchen towel. Paper towel heats up pretty quick, but you can see the steam coming off of it. Super hot. This guy just goes to the sink. The tamper, I pretty much just wipe off. That's all it really needs. It never really needs to be washed. Um, this thing, I never really use at all. Kind of with it as a tamper and a scooper, but I don't really use it. Yeah, paper towel is not good for that. There you go. Once you have that off and let, let the steam pressure out, then you can take this off, flip this up, and go dump this. So I, you have to hold that. If you don't hold that, you're, it's going to fall apart. I just beat it against the side of the trash can real quick. If you do it while it's still hot like this, it falls right out a lot easier. If you wait for it to sit for a while and cool down, it takes a lot more to get it out. And then just throw that and save. And that's it. That's for a latte. I mean, there's, there's all different types of ways to make um, different Americanos and other types of coffee, but this is the only one that I've really experimented with so far, and it's the one that we really enjoy. Hope this video helps. Love you guys. Bye.